in the next one is transmission delay so the transmission delay is amount of time taken by the router to transfer the packet to outgoing link is the transmission delay so to understand this one assume this is the router one right and this is the outgoing link as mentioned in the definition outgoing link is this one right and the, this is the router router to transfer the packet so assume that you have the 100 kb of data you have the 100 kb of data this data you have to be keep on this outgoing link this we are calling as the transmission delay that will obviously will take certain amount of time so to understand this one let us take one general example suppose you are vacating the house so while vacating the house you make you made parcel all your goods these are all assume that your goods so and you are going to certain place here you, are, you have to reach from this place source to destination so these all these things are get ready so you have to be load into the vehicle okay so this is the medium which will travel from here to here so all these goods you have to be load into this vehicle right so you are keeping all these goods like this one by one so as much time it is taking to keep all these goods into the, this medium how much time it is taking that is called as a transmission delay in this case same way here also you have the certain size of packet that packet you are keeping on this outgoing link that we are calling as transmission delay so for this we have one formula is there so for the transmission delay it depends on how many items you have here and how much capacity this one Basing on that, it will take. So, your packet size is how much? Then, it depends on bandwidth. So, length by bandwidth. L refers length. Here, L is saying length of the packet. Length of packet. And it is saying that bandwidth. So, try to understand here itself transmission delay delay in the sense you have to get the final answer is in time in terms of time you have to get it so if you see length will be always in certain length bits right bits are bytes length 100 bits 1000 bits or 1000 bytes in terms of bits or bytes we are representing length of the packet then bandwidth means what bits per second or bytes per second so certain bits per second okay means in one second how much data you are able to transfer how much data you are able to process so that is saying set by bandwidth so if you see here bits bits is going to be cancelled so remaining thing is seconds seconds will come upside in numerator so like this you are getting the seconds so you are getting in terms of time because measurement here is units is here is seconds so like this you are going to get the transmission delay in the network okay 